Alright guys, I'm doing a video on Crocs today. I'm just going to be going over all the prep and then I'll give the play-by-play -play of what I'm doing while I'm in the process of the rotation. Alright, so I'm going to go off the prep first. So the first thing you want to do is go into potato mode. If your game is capped FPS and you have a good graphics card, get that, get that out the way because the best thing you can do is raise your frame so you can cam lock like this. All you have to do to cam lock is like, if you have high frames and it snaps like that, it snaps to the front of your screen, just turn with your mouse. You can do this while you're moving forward or backwards. That's pretty much all it is. Um, but yeah, you wanna go in potato mode if you wanna do that. Uh, I also turned off the effects on my map like this and there's no animation going into it. It really helps when you're grinding, trying to find out where you are. Uh, you want to bring ship repair material and origin of the wind as you see I had 219 of these 100 of these I suggest bringing 200 of each each time uh, let's see oh and by the way if you can't cam lock if you don't have the high frames just get sailors these are confidence they're very good with turn this is their turn at level 10 so that's another option you have uh, let me go ahead. Uh, you want to get all the scrolls you can. So J scrolls, advanced loot scrolls, which you heat up the normal 30 minute ones. You want to turn on your aggress if you have some Compasivia Blessing, GM buffs, Guild buffs, switch to Arsha if you want, Ecology, all that stuff. You want to uh, have a transparent mask that goes to that. You just go here, show hide. It's at the bottom. Um. Now let's see, uh, if a twister shows up and you're having problems with it, this is how you edit it. So you can see the mobs better if you're having problems. Uh, to get a uh, minus one reload time, you just go to, uh, where is it, optimization, turn on performance optimization. Uh, keep your con food down here up if you're getting the 0.5 speed from it. Other than that, you can just keep it for the life skill. Um, increase yeah you always want to keep your mask lifted uh, you want to leave your breezy cell on if you use it if you don't use it often it's fine it's a little easier to turn when you don't have it turned on you're just doing it manually uh, understand that only crocs drop moss covered maps if that's what you're after not nine sharks or rust so it's your, it should be in your best attention to avoid them if you're going after the mask but if you're going after materials for your blue parts then don't do it uh obviously you want to stay in 2d map this kind of looks weird I i've never gotten used to that uh you also want to do sea monster missions so if there's an x4 up you want to do it x5 x3 however big your guild is uh don't switch servers on top of sea monsters because if you switch your bolts going to get cucked for a little bit it's going to take a shit ton of damage you'll probably die you want to kill them move out of the rotation somewhere safe where you can continue it on the next uh, server and you'll be safe when you switch it uh, watch out for ghost ships too when you get stopped by a ghost ship you might have like a whole pack of sea monsters leashing against you so you gotta react very quickly and get out the way especially if you're leashing a whole bunch of sea monsters at the same time uh, yeah and make sure you have your shark outfit your pets are fed you have the life skill pets and you have your mastery gear on there's probably a shit ton more things to, to explain i'm not going to go over it but if i do i'll add in the comment in the edit section whatever the description but the rotation i'm actually going to pull up a photo right now let me just open it open link i didn't save this photo i should have it's going to just take a second rotation so I'm going to add the photo of right now, add image, ooh desktop, where did I download it to, okay, okay, okay here's the rotation, I'm going to minimize it this one. <clears throat> But if you look at the screen where I'm at, it's kind of like, uh, that's how it looks like. 
and this is the rotation pretty much <clears throat> I don't know if you can see my mouse but pretty much from this I always start here I always start from the bottom left because I go straight into the big rotations which I want if you can see um, you leash two packs here and then you leash two more and that's very efficient you always want to get those while you can that's why I start at the bottom left just to make my life easier as you can see they remove the little patches around the rotation here so it's hard to see everything but if you got it memorized it shouldn't be a problem you kind of know where you are if you look in this distance see where the mobs are I'll show that to you right now but yeah let's just get straight into it I'll bring this up as a reference point once I'm done with it so let's go ahead and begin I'm on the bottom left side or somewhat near it I'm going right turn on my breezy oh click that on accident so I just keep looking I'm a little more south than I should be so I'm gonna just keep moving lower my sail add some rations ignore all that barter stuff just making this video really quick so as you can see I see a croc by itself does that I gotta think to myself is that part of the rotation no it's not in the photo so but there is that single croc oh wait that is the rotation <laughs> yep so there's three of them you can assume if you're on the bottom left in like an area like that this is the start of rotation so all you have to do fire at them dodge all their well at least attempt to dodge it's easier if you're faster so notice how I'm not shooting at the black rust I'm not gonna pop the scrolls for this rotation I'm just showing you this here Well, I shot it on accident. But yeah, right now, before you want to uh, hit them as much as possible, and just before they die, you want to pop all your scrolls and your buffs. And notice I'm using cam lock. If you don't want to use cam lock, you can use your sailors like this. <clears throat> it's a little harder, but cam lock is like really good. But this is also always a good. Uh, Remedy if you can't cam lock, but I'm gonna continue cam locking for the rest of this rotation just to show you One dead so I got these dead now. I'm gonna go west But I'm gonna go a little north because you're gonna notice in the photo it shows them a little more north. You're going to spot the ones that are north faster than the ones that are south. So it's kind of diagonal. So I'm going towards this one. I'm thinking this is the next rotation pack. Yeah, you notice there's three there. I'm like, okay, so this is the one that's closer. So I'm going to look south of it. And there's more. There should be four down here. So I'm all have to jump. Oh, there's four right there. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and attract these guys. Attracted. Now they're they're aggroed. They're all going to come towards me. I'm going to go down here where there's three or four of them. But notice if you're too far, they go away like that. That's why these are the only ones you can kind of aggro. A perfect example. The twister spawn nearby. I can't see anything, so I'm going to edit the effects a bit. All right, never mind. It's probably more south, so I'm gonna avoid going south. Now we're gonna start firing. I think I attracted the wrong rotation. Let me see. I've probably fucked this whole thing up. I'm just gonna keep it rolling. I've done this like hundreds of times. I don't know where I went wrong, but I'm gonna just keep rolling with it. So I'm attracting these. These should be, yep, grouped up with the guys up here. And that's not helping. <laughs> What a scuffed video. It's okay. 
I'm just kind of late, so I'm just trying to not get this video out. You kind of see how it looks already here. That's enough. So right here, this is the double first double pack you see at the bottom of the rotation. So one's dead. Also keep in mind, uh, this is better if you're a Valor. If you're, um, I run out all, out of all my cannons within 40 minutes of my scroll, and I have to buy, use about like 200 more origins. But if you're a Volante or another boat, it might be different for you. Now the goal here is to dodge as much as possible. Notice how I'm keeping a distance from them. I'm going to show you another tactic you can do to avoid damage and leash them really well. So I'm going to keep going uh, right. Ignore like anything closer up here. That's like the top pack. Kind of want to ignore those. Alright, so there's four. As you can see, there's bottom. On the bottom right of the rotation, there's four of them. So I'm in the right. I'm going to the top left now. I should spot three. Easy. See, it's kind of like that, and then like that, you start bottom here. It's kind of like a triangle with the right side only filled. So I got those aggroed. I, I noticed how I went south. If you're not good at leashing, it's okay. Just do one pack at a time. This is for more advanced people. But it's definitely possible. Like, notice how I got them all packed together. One of them might leash away. I think this one's leashing away, but it's okay. Just focus on the ones you do have leashed and then worry about the one you don't later. Or completely ignore it altogether. Also, getting one Mossy on average is probably like 1.5 per hour or like 1 per hour. If you get really lucky, it's 2 plus. In my opinion, I don't know. I'd say I've been out here longer than the average person. I say on average it's like 1 per hour. If you get 2 plus, that's really good. Just keep up the street. Like the last time I was here, I got four within one hour, and that's considered really lucky to me. I had all my loot scrolls running, so uh, let's see. All right, so we killed that pack. Now we're going for the under title pack. If you notice, should be this one right here. It's right on top of the face. Notice how I'm almost on the face, and there's four of them. So, if you're clearing really slowly, and uh, you're, you're just really slow, and my, or like, I don't know, you're just taking a while, and you can't kill them as this, this fast, you don't have to do the full rotation at the top. People actually don't like going above the title name because there's a current and your boat comes a little slower. The only reason I go up there is because I'm over clearing and I have to go up there or when I come back to the start of the rotation, nothing's going to be there for me. 
think these things take like 10, 15 minutes to respawn. I'm not sure. But yeah, after overclearing, do the same whole rotation I'm doing. If you're not, uh, just go back to the start or just continue like halfway. Kind of just craft your own rotation through this one right here. So I'll kill these. Notice how I'm avoiding the black rust. Oh, and on average, the the scales and the, all the other materials down here, you get 30 of these on average every hour, and you get about 20 of these on average every hour. So, to get everything you want, it'd probably take like minimum like 10 hours to 12, like for a whole set of blue gear. Okay, so I'm leaving the title now. I'm when I'm looking at the screen, I kind of want to look. Have this line right here between 2D and Magoria. Uh Because when I'm now going towards uh, this area right here, and notice I have to be a little diagonal. That's pretty much it. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, notice I spotted two, that's three of them. So that's our next spot in the rotation. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this a bit. I think that's probably best for the video. Okay, so. So the current's a little, notice I'm a little, you can't really tell right now, but I'm actually a little slower. You only come up here if you're like not over clearing. Well, if you are over clearing, my bad. If you're pretty slow and you don't really know what you're doing, you don't have to come up here. Let me show you the trick so what you want to do to like really de leash them against you notice i'm going a straight line if you manage to turn really sharply at the end they'll um usually they'll come like just be lining for you so you can just keep turning the whole time or you could go straight and then eventually start turning at the end of the straight path you just went and it creates a like kind of distance between you and the sea monsters and you you'll be able to get a good angle out on them pretty much all right so now uh you kind of there's two paths you can pick i usually go north i aim between the 2d margoria and i come up here because if you notice if i were to go left i have to leash a north uh mob it's kind of detached from the two single mobs down there and i kind of don't like doing that i just like coming here Taking this pack and then going south, south uh, east, no southwest. You can get like a double pack here if you want. I don't really attempt it. I'm not really caring about my damage right now, my health. If I was like actually grinding, I'd actually care, but this is just for video. This is just for uh, learning purposes, so I'm, not, I'm really being reckless right now. I'm just trying to get the rotation out the way. All right, so now you wanna go southwest. So you kinda wanna aim for this area right here. You're gonna spot some other sea monsters. That's the one I was talking about. See how it's detached right there? You don't wanna leash those. That's a little too much effort than you should try to go for. So you, you're kinda of wasting your volleys. You don't wanna do that. So there's the pack you want. 
it's on the left side of the name kind of a little north of it but this is the pack you want to do you kind of want to skip that one if you manage to do it and leash it it's fine but i usually try to skip it Also, um, I'm not gonna run out of cannonballs this uh, this rotation. I'm not. I'm only, I'm, the video is about to end, so your goal is to not spend origins and stay here forever. You want to take the path back to Rat because you're not. You only make on average if you're grinding like me, probably like 40, 40 mil per hour without aggress if you're if you have aggress on you probably make like 70 or 80 and it's really bad like i pretty much lose half my profits here spending uh origins and that's like 15 mil profit maybe so it's this pla place is really bad for silver if you i might make a rotation for the 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 crush on spawn I heard you can make like 150 mil over there on average, or 100 mil on average, to probably 200 mil from me. I don't know, I haven't done it yet, but I've been hearing stories. But over here it's complete shit, like, the only reason you're over here is for blue mats and mossy maps. Alright, so now you are gonna go straight south here, just like in the photo. No south, it's just a beeline south. You'll notice a sea monster appear on my right here in a second, and that's how you can dictate whether you're on the correct path. The right ones over the one I was just talking about is right over there. You can spot it on my right, and there should be a pack of three here. And sorry if I'm rushing it, like, there's just too much information, like, you gotta be used to this by now, like, I'm, like, kind of a veteran at this place, I, there's probably so much things that probably don't make sense, probably a little bit amount of things that don't make sense, but, I just try jam-packing everything in a small video and the rotation, so people will just pick it up and understand, they can help out their guildies, they're looking to upgrade their characters and go for the null if they wanted to. Okay, that's one. Unfortunate. Alright, so we're pretty much almost at the start of the pack now. This one over here that we're about to be at, this is where we started. And pretty much you do the same thing. I killed these things, they just spawned like a minute ago or two. Because that's how fast I do it. So I'm not going to kill these, I'm just going to wrap up the video. Uh, you can have a guildie on your ship that repairs your mast. Uh, to do that, they have to just be standing in front of the door. Uh, anything else, anything else. You can do this, this is bullet shot. You look down and lands faster. Notice how they're angled instead of those. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, be kind to the sailors out here. They're red. No, I mean, it's just up to you. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, shit. And don't get on your ship if uh, you're on soldiers. It's safe. Until it's safe to get on because if you're... If you try to board your ship and you're being attacked by a sea monster, it's going to glitch you and you're going to have to character select or something. It's happened to me a couple times. It's really weird. Uh, anything else? Is there anything else? Uh, if you have archaeologist map, you can teleport to Port Rat, sell all your needings and come back if you want to do that thing. Uh, but let me explain the mossies one more time. This is uh, all my maps. Um, it's a mossy it's like a green item I haven't I didn't get one this rotation unfortunately but pretty much 
It shows up as a green little map and expires in 24 hours. Remember that. If you let it expire, you'll never get to use it again. You just trash it. Uh, it takes. It costs 100, 100 C coins, pro coins, to clean them, and they turn into a map like this. Or an orange map that guarantees you a chest. Pretty much whenever you get this orange map, um, you go to Port Rat, I usually just archaeologist map there, and then I pick up the quest and I decide if I want to remote collect my ship if the chest is happens to be nor near Port Rat. If not, I just teleport back, get on my ship, and go look for the place. There's only four places, but three of them happen to be close, closer to the mainland, Three, one of them is close to Port Rat, so keep that in mind. And this chest has a chance for opening No, It also gives a whole bunch of goodies. I'm not gonna bring them up, but my last one had like this, these cool little items. They had like four sunset stones. It was crazy. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of goodies. But the thing you wanna get is the no symbol engraved No, That's the one you want. I've opened up six of them so far. Haven't gotten it. It's worth two mils uh, crow coins. I still don't think it's worth grinding up 200 bill worth of crow coins for that thing. I think I'd rather just take my RNG. Maybe until I get set 20 chests, I'll probably change my mind. I don't know. <sighs> okay, I think that's all the information I could provide. If there's anything I'm missing that you guys know of and I forgot to add, just put in the comments and I'll put in the description. Alright, that's it. Take it easy.